Queen Bee Once upon a time, there was a king who had three princes. While the two older brothers were adventurous, the youngest prince, whom everyone called Idiot, obediently stayed at home with his parents. One day, Idiot's parents asked him to look for his two brothers. Hey guys, my brothers! Ah, there you are! Where are you going, Idiot? I came to look for you. Our parents told me to take you home. And listen, if you don't come back, well, I'll just follow you to the very ends of the earth until you do come back. An idiot like you planning to go to the end of the earth. Even intellectuals like us can't do anything like that. Ants, get them! Destroy it! Guys, let them live in peace. I don't like it that you want to disturb them. Get some to eat! Yeah, let's! Why don't you let them live in peace? I don't like killing animals. We're ready to smoke them out. Then we'll climb up and get the honey. Yeah, that sounds fun. Brothers, please don't do that. The bees are hardworking and harmless. You're just ridiculous. The castle's so big there must be loads of delicious food. Perhaps they'll give us a really hearty meal. Hey, wait for me! Why is the castle so empty? Why are there only stone horses in the barn? They're all sealed. This one even has three locks. Hey, look here. There's someone in there. Hey, little man. Hey, gray-haired man. This food is delicious. Eat quickly, my brothers. When they had finished their meals, the grey-haired little man led each prince into a separate bedroom. <sighs> prince, this castle is petrified by a curse. These are the three things need to be done in order to lift the castle's curse. The first task is find and pick up all 1,000 gems of the princess that are under the moss in the forest. If you don't find all the gems before sunset, even missing one will be petrified. I've only managed to find a hundred gems. The next day, the middle prince did not hesitate to plunge into the search. Finding gems isn't easy. I'm also going to be petrified like my brothers. Losing three brothers, my parents are going to be sad. Hey, idiot, don't worry. We'll find all the gems for you. Thank you so much. The second task is to find at the bottom of the pool the key to the princess's bedroom. Idiot, this is where we live. Let us do it for you. Thank you, ducks, for helping me. You're welcome. We're just grateful that you saved our lives. The third task is the most difficult one, to find out which of the three sleeping princesses is the cutest. All three princesses are the same. They only differ in one thing. Before going to bed, the three girls each ate a different sweet. The oldest girl eats a sugar pill. The second girl drinks syrup. The youngest has a spoonful of honey. How do I know who on earth is the cutest when they're all fast asleep like that? Hey, idiot, don't worry, I will help you. It's easy for a bee. The girl who likes to eat honey is obviously the cutest. Oh, the queen. Yes, thank you, idiot, for saving all the bees. Because you saved our lives, I'll help you. This one, she's the cutest princess. For how long have we slept? So the magic disappeared. The castle was released from eternal sleep. Those who were petrified became human again. The idiot married the youngest and cutest princess. 
and succeeded the king when he died. The two older brothers married the older two princesses. Everyone lived happily ever after.